if you want to see a head swap, hey, what's up, you guys? Shard of Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Age of Apocalypse Sugar Band Build a Figure Waves Morph. If you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so in Marvel City, City of Collectibles, Collectibles, where you can pick up your Marvel Legends and all kinds of other action figures. They have their daily deals and an awesome rewards points program. So check them out. Link in the description below. And while you're down there, please go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And a big thanks to x Man 87 and Justine for letting me buy these figures off of them. Thank you so much for helping make these reviews possible. Check them out. Link in the description below. Anyway, packaging is similar to the rest of the figures from the set. I like the X-Men right over here from the Age of Apocalypse. And you can see wacky-ass Morph right over there on the side. There's Apocalypse over there. And the art does really match right over here. I do like that. Anyway, on the back, you can see Morph or product shot of Morph. There's a read-up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. There's the other figures from the wave. Then we get Morph and Apocalypse again. And then we get the Age of Apocalypse text right there on the very top. Not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> So it's a bit unfortunate that we only get a Build-A-Figure piece with this Morph figure and that he doesn't have any accessories, because I really would have liked this figure to have had interchangeable heads or some kind of crazy wacky accessories to go along with this crazy wacky character. I like the giant smoochy lips that he used one time. I thought that would have been great to have. But, you know, the head sculpt that we do have here does look cool. I like it a lot. I love that they added silver paint right here for the eyes. He does have the raised eyebrow right over there. It's a very animated character, very wacky morph character, which I thought, you know, was very welcome in the very depressing Age of Apocalypse storyline. Very sad. You can see some very minor cracks happening in the plastic right over here, but I'm just noticing that right now. Overall, it does look very smooth. So I do like this head sculpt. I think it looks great. And then you have the nice looking cape right over here. And the silver paint came out looking pretty good. I like that. And looking on the back of it right here, we do have some nice wrinkles throughout. So just getting a look at the cape, you know, which does get a little bulky and it does bunch up on you a little bit. And aiming for this uh, peg hole right here on the, and aiming for this peg hole on the back can be a little tricky. You know, you can see how it's kind of raised a little bit, but if you have it ported in properly, it does elevate over the shoulders just a tad. And that makes it a little troubling, a little wonky, but you know, you can get your poses out of it and everything. And then what we're seeing right here is the Sunfire body mold, which I love. This is one of my favorite newest body molds. The paint apps look really good. I'm very impressed by them. Of course, you will see minor specs like that, but I gotta say, this is looking pretty clean, man. Just looking at the back, you get your morph butt, and then we have these cuffs right over here. You have these hands, and yeah, not looking too bad, man. Good looking figure. I love this body mold. Paint apps are nice and clean. You get the pirate boots right over there, peg holes and everything. Now, I did have some fun uh, swapping this with Weapon X right over here. I just wanted to see how this would look. So the body mold, you know, it's very commonly used, and it's pretty easy to swap heads with other figures. This is super loose on here. But, you know, if you want to have some fun and do that, you can. I also had taken this hand out and used the old two-pack Wolverine hand, even though the yellow doesn't match perfectly. You know, it's kind of fun to mess around with. Now, nothing too crazy with the articulation over here. The head shifts forward and back like a pile driver. You can turn the head side to side. He'll look up that much, down that much. And then you get the butterfly joints. Shoulders move outward very far, downward. Rotate a full 360. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows only moving that far because of these right over here. Because of the gloves. Wrist turn side to side and hinge up and down. Crunches forward, crunches back. Waist swivel. Hips move outward. And he'll kick forward, back, upper thigh cut. Double jointed knees. Boot rotation. Ankles move down, up and ankle pivot. And to measure out this morph figure, you could see that he is standing just a little over six inches tall. Then for a morph comparison, we have our morph from Age of Apocalypse next to my modified morph from the X-Men Fox Kids TV series. And this is the Clint Barton head right over here painted with brown. And then I have the Legendary Riders Wolverine jacket on uh, the Wolverine body from the two-pack with Forge. Now please help me with my ignorance over here because I was under the impression that this is actually the only morph we actually seen in the comics. That this this morph didn't exist until the Fox Kids TV show. Am I wrong about that? That's just what I always thought, but I could just be completely mistaken. Please let me know. I always thought it was him from the comics, him from the cartoon. Then later on, I think they did bring him in the comics, but I could be wrong. It could be switched. I would just like to get to the bottom of it. Please let me know. 
And then here's more of next to just a couple of our pre-existing Age of Apocalypse Marvel Legends figures. We have the STCC exclusive Sunfire and we have Holocaust. And expect a review on the new Sunfire figure coming soon. And then here's more of next to the other figures from this wave that I've already reviewed. We have Weapon X, Jean Grey, and Dark Beast. And then here's more of next to your average 6 inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends big time badass Spider-Man. Mm, badass shapeshifter he is. Shapeshift too am I. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thank you to all these viewers that go the extra mile to support what I do here via crowdfunding. If you're interested or you're in a position to be able to do so, check it out, link below. Now with this review, I felt like I kind of went through it a little on the fast side. And that's just because I feel like as a figure all by itself, it's not really that interesting. I, I do like the character. I'm just disappointed in the fact that we don't have any accessories for Morph. And I feel like this figure seriously needs accessories. So I am disappointed in that regard, but I'm still glad to have an AOA Morph figure in the collection. But I just think that overall, the figure is a bit of a disappointment just because I feel like to really properly do the character just he needs accessories like a lot of accessories and I don't think he could shift maybe all the way to the size of an AT-80 But I do know that mass is not really an issue for this guy based on what I've read in the comics So due to the lack of accessories and at the price point of around 20 to 25 bucks I'm gonna give this morph figure a sud rating of It's not so bad. Yeah, I do like the character again I am happy to have him in figure form, but uh, I am disappointed that he doesn't have accessories. What else can I say man? I want to know what you guys think though So please let me know in the comment section below Below. And if you want to see the latest Marvel news, you can find it at MarvelousNews.com. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.